In this video, we're going to find the hypotenuse length on a right triangle. And we know that one side is 3 inches long and the other is 6 inches, or 3 whatever, feet, inches, miles, whatever. That means that this leg right here is 3 and this one here is 6. How long is the hypotenuse? Well, the Pythagorean theorem is really useful on right triangle problems like this because it tells us that the square of our first leg, A, and that could be 3 or 6, it doesn't really matter, added to the square of B, 3 or 6, which is, we, we're just going to pick that, is equal to the hypotenuse square. So a square that's built off of the hypotenuse. It has a side length equal, so I'm going to fit here, to the hypotenuse. So to simplify this equation, let's say A is equal to 3, and b is equal to 6. So a squared is then 3 squared, which is 9. So that's a squared. And b squared is 6 squared, which is 36, right? 6 times 6 is 36. And that's b squared. Excuse me, we add these two up, 9 and 36, and get 45. That means that c squared, the area of this big square, built off of the leg C, has an area equal to 45. But we want to find the length of the hypotenuse here, this length. How do we do that? Well, it's a square. We know the area. So to find the length of a side, we take the square root. So C is equal to the square root of 45. And in fact, we're done there because we really can't go much further without estimating as a decimal, right? What is the square root of 45? Well, I don't know. 6 times 6 is 36, 7 times 7 is 49, and 45 is between 6 squared and 7 squared. So some decimal between 6 and 7 squared gives us 45. And we're not sure exactly what that is. It's going to be irrational, which we'll talk about in other videos. But here, we know that it's between 6 and 7. It's a decimal, and we can just leave it, saying that the length of side C is between 6 and 7. In other words, c equals the square root of 45, and that's the length of our hypotenuse. All right, hope that helped.